What's up you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Cooking and Mixing. Myla, say hello. Say hi. Say hi. She's eating her cracker right now. She's already snacking. But today's episode. Is that right? <laughs> yeah. That's right. <laughs> On today's episode, I'm going to be making a kind of like a Mongolian beef, um, but with shaved beef from Trader Joe's. Okay, if you never had it, Money. this is it. It's very, very thin. It cooks so fast. It's delicious. We're gonna do that. And I got some shrimp fried rice coming for y'all with some roasted garlic broccoli. So we will mix it up. We're not gonna do no drink this week. Oh, that's right. That's right. It's pretty late. I gotta go to work in the morning. I'm not <laughs> trying to do that. So we just go give y'all a good little dinner for tonight. So let's go ahead and get into this video. But yes, before girl. we get into this video, what you want them to do, Myla? Oh. Say like the video, oh. subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so you can get notified when we upload a new video. All right, let's go. Let's start it. As you guys saw, Mike cleaned the shrimp. Clean the broccoli. I cut the broccoli. <laughs> she did. Um, what is your next step? We about to season this broccoli, get it in the oven on 425, and we're gonna cook it for about 20 to 25 minutes. Love it. Ain't that right, Myla? Oh, oh go, go Myla. Okay. Go, Myla. Go. <laughs> Ooh. You dancing? That we cooking and we mix. Come on, come on. Oh! What? <laughs> Once you get your broccoli all spread it out on your pan, you just sprinkle a little olive oil on that thing. Start with your seasonings. Garlic powder, onion powder. Since we're making garlic roasted broccoli, Go squeeze some garlic on there. Some real garlic. Should be good enough. Then just use your salt and pepper. Grab you a couple breadcrumbs or panko, whatever you got. And you mix it all together. Let that cook for 20 to 25 minutes. While the broccoli is cooking, we're gonna go ahead and start this Mongolian beef. So come on close. We got a saucepan that's been warmed. We're gonna make the sauce first, okay? You just wanna put a little bit of oil in there. Let that heat up. Add some minced ginger. We're using pre-minced or crushed, whatever you wanna call it. Garlic, minced garlic. Saute it just a little bit until it's fragrant. Now that that's going, you wanna add in your soy sauce and your brown sugar. And now the recipe is linked below that has all of the exact ingredients. Okay. Mix this around. If you have a rubber whisk, it's a lot better than using a spatula, but we don't have that right now, so we're just gonna use this. Bring this to a simmer, whisk it frequently, and then it's gonna start to get um, a little thicker, kind of like a glaze. Now that this is done, it's kind of like a glazy consistency. You just wanna move that over. For the meat, you want a fresh new pan to start off, just with a little bit of oil. This is the meat that we're using. It's the shaved beef steak. Um, as you can see, it's very thin. Broccoli's done. Let's see what it's looking like. Oh yeah. The meat is almost done. Now I did drain it um, to get a lot of the juices out because I do want it to get a little bit crispy if I can. So I drained it, put it back in there. It's almost done. And then we're gonna put the sauce on and it'll be all complete. The 
meat is done, I just tasted it, A1. Now we're about to get into the shrimp fried rice. Start off with your sesame oil. Get you three tablespoons of that. So you wanna let that warm up. This is the main ingredient for fried rice. This changes the flavor and everything. So once that warms up, you just wanna go ahead and throw you some onion in there and some garlic. Turn your fire down if it's too hot. Now get you two eggs and crack them in a pot, but I got four because I love eggs. Scramble your eggs in. So once you get your eggs in there, you want to drop some butter and then add your rice. So with the rice, you want to cook it and you want to put it in the refrigerator for about three hours, but it's better to do it overnight, but I think we did it for about three hours so it could harden up and then you throw it in here and just go, you go see. Because if you cook it right away, it's going to be mushy. You don't want that. For the shrimp, we just use uh, salt and pepper for the seasoning, not too serious. Once your shrimp is done, just go ahead and pour it in the rice. Mix that all in. Once you mix everything in, you hit it with a few more ingredients. So we got the garlic powder. Go ahead and slab some of that on there. Can't forget the pepper. Hit it with some pepper. I love pepper, so I'm gonna go a little heavy on the pepper. You love pepper too? Yeah. So this is the final ingredient, teriyaki sauce. I know a lot of people use soy sauce, but I like this one better. And it has a little bit more flavor in it, if you ask me. So we about to just drizzle some of this one there. Oh, hold on, you can't forget the green onion. All right, y'all, so this is it for this video. I hope you guys like it. We had fun making this. The fried rice came out crazy good. Don't forget, all the recipes are below for you guys if you wanna make anything. And if you do, let us know how it came out. Drop a comment on what y'all wanna see us make next, but before y'all do that, I need y'all to go cook the fried rice and cook the beef. Tell me how y'all like it. Oh, and for the uh, fried rice, you don't need shrimp. You could put the beef in the rice if you want to. It don't matter, chicken, That's true. whatever you prefer. But we just wanted to do shrimp, but I wanna see what y'all got. <laughs> Tag me in it on Instagram if you make this. Ain't that right? That's it for this video. We hope you guys enjoyed it, and we're gonna catch you in the next one, right? What you do, my, my, peace.